not want me to share, so I will not <laughs> share them today. Or maybe I will. No, I don't. Um, yeah. So uh, as I said, you know I mean, as I said earlier, Dan is was everything to me, everything to our family. He's hilarious, and everybody knows that. Uh, I mean, Dan would take the most hilarious videos of me that I have been looking through his phone to burn <laughs> before they get anywhere. But he loved to catch me off guard in any ridiculous position snoring, whatever, and so that he could threaten to show people later. Um, so yes, I've been going through looking for all of those to get rid of them. Um, but uh, Dan's fun. I mean, Dan comes from a very fun family, and there's always laughter, and you know, he tells a lot of dad jokes. I mean, but they're, they're still funny. They're just dad jokes. Um, <laughs> uh, but he's definitely one of the smartest people I knew. Um, you know, he liked to tell me that he was one of the smartest people, <laughs> <people. laughs> which is probably true. Um, uh, but yeah, so he would love to tell me things like that, and uh, I, I just miss him so much. Like, he's fun, and he's just he was a good friend, like, uh, to tell all my problems to. I mean, he would give me the uh huh, uh huh, but inside, I know he was listening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if people know me well, I'm a very fiery uh, individual, uh, and Dan is very calm, so we made a very good match. So whenever I would be taking something to level 20, Dan would bring it back down to 3, <laughs> try to explain to me why 20 would not be the best situation. <laughs> uh, so many times Dan has saved us trouble from when I've gotten pulled over. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Dan brought it back down for me uh, with a very simple Tynesha. I don't think so. Like, I think, what are you doing? Calm down. Uh, and Dan never called me Ty. He always called me Tynesha, uh, which was always, maybe that was his part of leadership and guidance. Or, uh, my name like a parent would. Uh, but when I was here now, Tynesha. I knew it was time to bring it down a little bit. Uh, so I do miss that part. Uh, I can't say what I'm going to be like now, guys, without, <laughs> without my balance. <laughs> um, please forgive me. I don't have my, my balance to even me out. Um, but yeah, so Dan is, I mean, our family and just what we made together, I'm so proud of. And I mean, when we met back in 94, Yes, I did date us. When we, when we met back then, I just didn't imagine what our lives would turn out to be. I mean, you know that someone's a good person. I mean, he liked his mama, you know. So there was things I was checking off the list. He likes his mama. He's cute. You know, he's funny. Ooh, he's got light eyes. <laughs> like that, I was checking off. I, I never imagined just what we would be able to do together. And like I said, how supportive he was. Like, I knew he was a supportive guy, but he has just stuck with me through so much. Uh, you know, jobs, career changes, you know, whatever whim I'm on, uh, Dan would support it. And he would always, if I would make something, uh, a film or something I was scared to show, he would go, put it out there. What are you doing? Like, don't be afraid. So I, I do miss that part of my cheerleader. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about that. I mean, I could go on and on. I'm not, I'm not going to go on and on, but I could. Um, yeah, I mean, he's always welcomed all of my friends and made everybody feel really comfortable and at home. Uh, our neighbors, he loved football, as you guys heard earlier. So he was very involved in the community. And, um, you know, I mean, our house is just different. If you had been to our house and we're loud, um, there's lots of laughter and Dan, if you remember, Dan has this high pitched laugh when he thought something was hilarious, he could not contain himself. There were so many moments where I was like, Dan, you have to stop laughing. Like, we are, this is a very serious moment and he would be back there trying to contain that high laugh. Uh, it was super high pitched when he thought it was really, really funny and he just couldn't contain it. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll miss that, that joking side of him and, you know, just uh, when, when you lose a partner, you don't think about the, 
the small things that uh, happens in your life and the partnership that you build and what you do around the house. So now that I'm doing a lot of these things, I, I just, it's just odd um, to not, I mean, Dan used to take care of the kitty litter guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so me now. Uh, but like little things like that, that Dan would just make easy for our lives and, you know, uh, making sure that the kids got to where they wanted to go and that the kids uh, felt loved and, you know, he told them he loved them and he hugged them and he played with them and, you know, he's just a beautiful soul. So uh, I really want to thank everyone. Um, I don't know if anyone else has any remarks. Um, I'm going to close it down if there are no other uh, stories. Um, but I just want to thank everybody so much for coming out. I mean, this this is really a testament to Dan and how you guys feel about him, how you feel about our family, and I really appreciate it. Um, and Dan is so loved that there is going to be another celebration of Dan. Guys, I mean, he would love this stuff. Yes. <laughs> I could see him now going, oh yeah, like he, he would love it. Like he loved Elvis, so this is like Elvis stuff for him. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so uh, just thank you very much and please continue to think of us and think of Dan and share his, his memory and his legacy and and uh, we just appreciate you all for coming today. And thank you very much. Yes.